Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture and I'm excited to share with you guys a video as we are in the middle of the Fallen Study from Yes and Amen Studios. So head down below in the description, you will find links to where you can grab your printables and the whole study from yesandamenstudio.com and make sure you join the Facebook group. I will leave a link to it down below as well where all these women are gathering in community together as we work through this study, encouraging and praying for each other. And it is truly an amazing group of women. And so today I want to share with you guys an entry in my journaling bubble that I did as we are now in the week of character, which is the second week of Fallen. If you have not joined yet or you feel like it is too late to join, I'm talking about the second week, do not feel that way. I encourage you to please join us. You are not too late. You can work at your pace and go back and see posts from previous weeks or whatever. It is totally okay. So what I want to talk to you guys a little bit is about what stood out um, from the scriptures and reading in that week about character. And then I want to show you a journaling entry that I did in my journaling Bible to kind of give you some ideas. So here's the deal. I want to say this first. The journaling Bible is all fun. You know, we love doing the artsy part of it. And so many of us love to create in our Bibles and those margins. But what I want to say is that when you begin a study, one main goal that Janet from Top Knots and Jesus that leads these studies talks about so much, and I agree with this so much, is that we want to do a lot of the prep before we get started. So if you haven't got started and you want to prep something like this and you haven't already, I encourage you to get it prepped and ready to go before you start into the word and into the meat because you don't want to be distracted thinking, oh, I got to get that entry down in my journaling Bible, check that off my list. You want it to be something that is the word is the priority. You get the creating done to begin with. So I want to say that first before I even show you the journaling page entry because what I normally do is I normally go through the entire study and read, do my scripture, prayers, notes, all of that at the very end. Normally we have a break between our studies. So in that break period, usually that first week after we're done, while things are fresh on my mind and things that I know have stood out to me, I will go through normally and I will do a journaling entry in my Bible for each week, whatever scripture or parts of that week stood out. So I'll have an entry for identity, character, faith, and so forth in my journaling Bible. And I do that afterwards kind of as a way to just remind me of what we studied, refresh my memory, and that kind of thing. So I don't want you to think, oh, I've got to get that done for this week too. Keep all of that Bible journaling if you want to the very end and do the art part at the end. Get your stuff set up if you haven't already and then dig into the Word, okay? So if you missed my setup, I did do it in an A5 binder. There's a link down below where you can see that video as well and I go through all my um, process for setting it up. I show you all the pages, some ideas. Even if you're not using an A5, you can use a lot of the ideas that I share in any kind of setup. And also, I will talk more about the Fallen study in general and more of what the actual study and that kind of thing is too in that video. So you can check that out if you missed it and you're wanting to know more. Okay, but let's go ahead. We're going to jump over to week two, which is character. And I have on each week a little card with the title. And um, just to keep me, you know, in my um, organized here, my space. Now for character, we're talking about lovers of themselves. And so for this one, I opened up my little shutters here. And I had these little stickers of these old, really cute, like vintage looking camera. And then it says a photo booth. Because how many people... You know, the selfie thing has seemed to just take over the world, right? And um, and getting that perfect picture and this and that and and just being so focused on ourselves and on those, um, you know, all of that about ourselves. I love that about the camera, our lovers of ourselves, you know, and it reminded me so much of the selfies or wanting those pictures posted and, and being able to brag about things. You know what I mean? So that's why I put that there um, to begin with. But the topics that we talk about, there's a main um, journal or devotional card here for character, and then you'll have two smaller cards for conceit with some more writing and scriptures, and then appearance of godliness, and it has an excerpt um, from um, 
Charles Spurgeon. And so I loved that, um, that these are included, kind of like little extras for that week to dig deeper. But one thing, and I talked about this, if you follow me on Instagram several weeks ago, I talked about in 2 Timothy, the scripture reference, and that is where I'm journaling today too. And I went over here and what I did was I had this page, this happens to be one of the journaling cards that comes with the printable downloads. And I actually um, wrote out some notes, some things that stood out to me from what Janet had written here. I kind of copied those over here and added, you know, things that came to my heart in prayer. And then over here, I have some of the scriptures written out that she referenced that really stood out to me. But on Instagram and my stories, I had talked about 2 Timothy and the times that we are living in, in times, the parallels. If you do not see these things, I encourage you to get in your Bible and put away the other stuff. Get in your Bible because there are so many things that we have got to get woke up. We've got to get bold and the church and believers have got to see these things um, and not be blinded. So it says, I want to read 2 Timothy. I'm going to take a minute to read 1 through 5. But understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, and here's what we're talking about, lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit. So keep that in mind as we talk about the conceit card. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power, avoid such people. So I'm going to stop here now that we've read the scripture and I want to say a quick prayer before we move on. Lord, as we work through fallen and we are on week two in character, I pray that you would help us keep our character in check. May the Holy Spirit quicken us. May he convict us so that any of these things listed and more, that we do not find ourselves in that trap. We do not find ourselves deceived. We do not find ourselves boasting of ourselves, swollen with conceit. Lord, that we bow humbly at your feet, Lord, that our character may be in check with you. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So one thing I want to say, avoid such people. This stood out to me so much when I read through because we are told in this society today, inclusion, love wins, love everyone. And I am totally about loving people, showing people the love of God. We are commanded to love others, right? The greatest of these is love. But what I want to say is that there's a difference between loving someone and thinking that it's okay to join in on maybe the things that we've listed here because we want to love that person. We've got to, you know, reach them. So we got to, you know, we'll go lax on a few of these things here so that they will see and they'll know that we love them and that Jesus loves them. And yes, Jesus does love them, but we're commanded avoid such people because here's the thing, little by little by little, a door opens till you have a huge, massive hole. And all of a sudden, here comes the enemy. He has crept in and you're a lover of yourself. You're brutal. You have no self-control. You're ungrateful. You are a lover of money. You're swollen with conceit. All of these things here. And then before you know it, most of all, you have an appearance of godliness, but you're denying its power, what you once knew. So yes, we love people and we do, but there's a difference where we do not have this idea that we should, um, you know, include everyone and make everyone feel sweet and everyone feel cozy because that is not what we're here to do. We're here to show them the word. We're here to show them God. And first, we've got to get ourselves in check. Our character must line up with Jesus and what he has commanded us so that others will see him and they will know him. So that was just something that was on my heart that I wanted to share about character um, and then she has some other scripture references. And as we go over here and we're on conceit, I love this. High-minded, puffed up, and conceited individuals cannot see past themselves and blinded with pride. We all know what happens with pride. Before the fall comes pride. And so let's, you know, I love how she said, all we need to do is look into the mirror of God's word and let him show us our spiritual makeup. And that's what I'm talking about, digging deeper in God's word. I've been saying that since January, dig deep in his word. And so I love that. Um, and then appearance of godliness, that stuck out to me a lot. And I, when I read that to you, I mentioned that having the appearance of godliness. So this card here, that's this little excerpt 
from Spurgeon. You have got to go read this one if you have not already. It is amazing. I love exactly this. Just incredible what it says. And so I want you to look at this one. What will be the hell of the false professor having a form of godliness but denying its power? A mere form of godliness joined to an all an unholy heart is of no value to God. How burdensome and how scary to think that you can get to a place where you're of no value to God, that you've completely turned. And that is not a place that I want to be in. And I don't want any of you to be in that place. If you're listening to my voice, I want us all to be used for God's kingdom. And so let's get our character. We talked about identity. Let's have our character, those things that others see in us what we are portraying every day in our actions, let it be in check with the Holy Spirit. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys from this. And so as you will see here, I wanted to note, I added this little cute little mirror sticker that a dear, dear friend of mine sent me. And so I love that because it was, you know, lover of themselves and the whole selfie and the mirror and the vanity. <laughs> so I loved having that there. Um, just little things. I loved how everything in this study design is intentional. So I wanted to add things that are very intentional. And then on here, I'm going to be adding a prayer and it'll be hard to see it on this, but that is okay because I don't always want my prayers to just be something that would be noticeable and stand out. So I will write them on here and then I have my little vellum tag to even keep that, you know, covered there as well. And then we'll go to the next one. So that will show you how, you know, that little layout is for mine. And then I want to go back over here and I will now show you my um, Bible entry that I did in my journaling Bible. So this is a Bible um, that I got last year at the very end of the year. And I didn't know exactly what I would be using it for. And it has turned out that I have used this Bible for my, um, previously it was God Dates uh, with Top Knots in Jesus. And now it's been rebranded to um, yes and Amen Studio. So all of the studies that we have done this year, starting with Lent, then we did um, In Camped and then Bible University, and now Fallen, all of those, when I have done a journaling entry for different weeks or letters, whatever it may have been that we were studying through, they're in this Bible. So this is going to be my Yes and Amen Studio Bible. I love bright and colorful things, and so I know the design is a more neutral for this one, but I could not help it. I had to keep it in here with all my other ones, and um and so that's what I did there. So you'll see right here in the front, I even have like BU and I need to go back and I've got to do a, um, a, an encamped one. And I said Lent, I didn't do my Lent entries in here. I actually have a big, one of the big, um, illustrating Bibles that I do. I'm going to have as a Lent Bible every year. And then I've got one for Advent too. Um, so I want to correct myself there because <laughs> I did say that wrong, but let me go over here and I'm going to find the page that I did for this one. And here we have, I loved how this turned out. So um, my sweet friend that sent me the little mirrored sticker also sent this um, like craft cardboard type um, Polaroid. So how perfect is that to go along with this lovers of themselves and the picture and the selfie and having that camera, all of that thing still going. I loved having that here. So I threw in different things that I have in my stash, out the stickers from my stash, anything like that that I've already pulled to use. That is what I'm using um, when I do my entries and that I use throughout my book to embellish it. So I've added some of these leaf and flower or leaf and um, yes, they're all leaves. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking this was something different. <laughs> But they're all different shapes of leaves with the gold foiling just matched perfectly. This little strand of the gold um, leaves also went across that, I thought, perfectly. I added some washi, one of the little elements from the printables. I had this little word here that I added, and I wanted it to say, love truth and die to self. We're talking about that being puffed up. It says, they for people will be lovers of self, and I wanted that love truth love the truth, love what God says, what he wants our character to be so that we can die to ourselves and love his truth and make it what is stent and permanent implanted in our heart and in our spirit. So um, that's why I have that big sentiment. I like to do that a lot when something really stands out to me. I want that to be a big, bold sentiment on the page so I see it automatically. And then I've just added little touches of some washi. As you guys know, I love black and white. I um, added my tab. I had this uh, fabric. You may have seen it when I opened my binder earlier. I've got to make some more um, clips 
uh, to go in my Bible, and I loved it because this is like a really pretty metallic looking rose gold. This fabric is actually from a pack of fabric from Cricut, and I've just been ripping it and then tying it onto clips for the studies. You'll see the other ones up there. So that's where that's from. I can leave that link down below too if you're interested. And then um, a sweet friend made me these little die cuts out of stamps that they have and are um, these alpha die cuts and they're so adorable. So I've loved using that so much. Um, and then the others I just, you know, are little pieces of, you know, here's a little paper clip, a little heart sticker that I had in my stash. I love putting the little crosses and that just reminds me of the Yes and Amen Studio um, kind of logo and theme. Um, so that's why I've added those in there. I like to put my... Um, the name of the study that it's coming from and what theme or week it was. And then I put a little note here, transform my character, Lord, and help me to be more like you. And if you wanted to add more of a prayer in here, you could easily add like a journaling card or something. I could have put a prayer on and slid it back behind here. I thought about that. That would have been another fun thing you could do. And then I just need to date it. I haven't done that yet. But that is my journaling entry. And I wanted to show that to you guys so you kind of have an idea if you're wanting to do something at the end of the study to document the ones that stood out to you. I don't know if any of you do that. Um, but I love the that idea that came to me before because it's a great way after the study wraps up to be creative use some uh, you know use some of your supplies that you hadn't used in your setup have fun but it keeps all of the things you've studied here fresh and it helps you to just go back through and remember all of that that you learned and what stood out to you and put it into your bible and so that's what i have done um, here now one day if you guys would like I would love to go through and I never have talked about this I don't think or really shown this a whole lot I maybe I have I can't remember um, you know as far as doing entries in here after um, we get through with a study like this was from Bible University so if you guys would like to see any of the pages that I have done from the previous studies let me know in the comments and I could even just do a flip through of this and making this my yes and amen um, studio Bible so let me know if that is something you guys would like to know and if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to ask in the comments too and make sure that you jump into the word and that you join us for fallen like I said in the description there are links where you can find more information about the study where you can grab it how I got this all set up and I would love for y'all to join the Facebook group which is linked down below as well and just don't worry about the setup part. I want to say that. That just came to me for some reason. Um, thank you, Lord, because I want you guys to not worry about the setup and the pretty and all of that if you are just now seeing this for the first time. But this looks like an interest, a study that would interest you. Don't worry about that. Go get the study, print it off, or even do it digitally. But dive into the scriptures. Dive into those scripture references and study God's word and pray and, and, you know, seek his face during this time and not let this part stop you. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you guys again very soon. It has been such a pleasure and a joy um, to talk about character with all of you today. And I cannot wait to see more of you over in the Facebook group. All right. Make sure you're subscribed and click that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out. And I'll see you all then. All right.